Sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> it's Friday, so I'm taking care of business at the same time. Hallelujah. Creating two birds with one stone. Hallelujah. Okay, so back to where we was. Hallelujah. We are in the book of Psalms, and we are doing the Hebrew alphabet, Psalms 119, and we are doing Kaf today, verse 81. Hallelujah. It's me, your minister, Queen Asia, and this is my ministry beauty for ashes kingdom of heaven royal ministries praise the lord everybody praise the lord hallelujah let's see if we could get through this without any interruptions but that was an important for phone call you guys i had to get it so um okay so let's get the word out hallelujah praise the lord everybody so father god we just thank you for your word going forth today father god we thank you for another day to be in your presence lord god we thank you for the breath of life father we thank you father god for leading us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake we thank you for your holy spirit hallelujah um your holy spirit increasing in us as we decrease father god that your holy spirit would take forth father god in the name of jesus i am your eyes your ears father god your mouth your vessel hallelujah to do your will and your purpose for the kingdom of heaven and we give you all the glory and all the praise in jesus name amen praise the lord everybody hallelujah again happy friday you guys we made it to a whole new week a new weekend so i pray that you guys have a blessed and wonderful friday hallelujah and so we're coming out of the book of psalms psalms 119 and we're doing calf hallelujah the hebrew alphabet calf hallelujah and this is god's word hallelujah hope in god's word hallelujah so i'm going to be starting from verse 81 hallelujah i pray that you guys are reading the word of god that you guys are meditating on god's word hallelujah that you guys are applying it to your everyday life hallelujah let me tell you something this faith walk hallelujah let me tell you, it's gonna only benefit you hallelujah if you stick with it hallelujah if you go through the process if you don't go through the process if you don't stick with it hallelujah then you will never see the goodness of god's glory in your life working hallelujah because if you give up hallelujah in the middle hallelujah of your battle hallelujah then you're never going to see the victory you're never going to get the testimony to overcome hallelujah because let me tell you something the enemy is always going to be on the attack hallelujah he's always going to be on his job hallelujah his job is to kill, steal, and destroy. And our job is to stand on God's word, stand on God's truth, hallelujah, to activate our faith, hallelujah. The Lord said, you only need to have the faith of a mustard seed, hallelujah, hallelujah. And he will grow your faith. He will elevate your faith. He will increase your faith, hallelujah. But it increases as you go through your affliction. It increases as you go through your trials and tribulations. It increases as you overcome and you get your testimonies hallelujah then that's when you can see how god works but if you give up during the battle hallelujah if you just stop hallelujah and you give up on your fight hallelujah and you give up on yourself you will never see god's glory work in your life hallelujah you will never see hallelujah the kingdom of heaven on earth in your works hallelujah and everybody's not going to be able to experience God the same way because everybody don't stand. Hallelujah. You got to stand your ground. You got to be committed to this. Hallelujah. We know it's going to get hard and get rough, but guess what? It's going to be hard and rough even without Jesus. Hallelujah. It's going to be hard and rough even without God um, supplying all your needs and taking everything in control. Hallelujah. So if you just allow God to be God and give him full control over your situations, give him full control over your life, then you can see some mighty things happen for you. Hallelujah. You will be able to see a change. You won't keep going through the same battles, the same fights, facing the same demons. Hallelujah. You're going to be able to knock down some of these um, demons. Hallelujah. You're going to be able to break these generational curses off of your life. Hallelujah. You're going to be able to excel, hallelujah, into your next kingdom purpose, hallelujah. But you got to stick with it, 
Hallelujah. And you have to read the word of God because this is where we get our power from. This is how our faith is built up. The word of God says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. If you don't hear the word of God, then you're not going to be able to receive. Hallelujah that faith inside of your spirit. You're not going to be able to receive, hallelujah, instructions from the Holy Spirit to guide you along the way. Because as you go through your battles, he will teach you how to fight. He will teach you how to stand. He will teach you how to fast. He will teach you how to pray. Hallelujah. For each battle, he will show you a different strategy because each one has a different demon, hallelujah, assigned to that battle. Hallelujah. So if you're dealing with the spirit of laziness, the spirit of stagnation, there's a demon of laziness. It's the demon of stagnation that's trying to hinder you. That's the, the dem, demon of hindrance that's trying to hinder you from moving forward. So you have to learn how to pray, hallelujah, to get that spirit of hindrance off, to get that spirit of laziness off, to get that spirit of stagnation off, hallelujah. And then you got another demon that's trying to attack your finances. So you got to pray and fast over your finances, hallelujah, because that's a demon of theft hallelujah that's a demon that's trying to keep you from moving and elevating to your res restoration hallelujah so the lord is teaching you these things through the word of god hallelujah and he has many many examples for us so that we can see how each one overcame and how they overcame by the word of god and through their testimony hallelujah so be faithful hallelujah I know sometimes we slip up. Hallelujah. God knows that sometimes we make mistakes, but his mercy, hallelujah, his mercy, his grace, hallelujah, is sufficient for those times. But we are not to stay in there. We are not to stay, hallelujah, in that place of defeat. We are to move on and move forward. Hallelujah. We can't allow the enemy to keep us in a place of defeat. Okay. In a place of despair, in the place of anxiety and in a place of depression. We bind and rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are coming out and we are going forward and we are stronger than ever before. Hallelujah. Give God the praise and all the glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So I'm coming out the book of Psalms 119 and we're doing calf. And we're starting at verse 81. Hallelujah. And the word of God reads, My soul fainteth for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Mine eyes fail for thy word, saying, When wilt thou comfort me? For I am become like a bottle of the, uh, sorry, for I am become like a bottle in the smoke. Yet do I not forget thy statues. How many are the days of thy servant? When wilt thou execute judgment on them that persecute me? Praise the Lord. In verse 85. The proud have digged pits for me, which are not after thy law. All thy commandments are faithful. Thy priests, thy pre persecute, sorry, thy I'm going to reread that again. Rewind. All thy commandments are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully. Help thou me. They had almost consumed me upon earth, but I forsook not thy precepts. Quicken me after thy loving kindness. So shall I keep the testimonies of thy mouth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You guys be blessed. Thank God for another day. Hallelujah. To be in his presence, to do his will. Hallelujah. To become who you are supposed to be in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank God for your salvation, for your deliverance, for forgiveness of our sins in the name of Jesus. And we just continue. Hallelujah. To Stay in God's presence. Hallelujah. Stay connected to the vine. Hallelujah. Stay connected to the one who can do it all. Hallelujah. And we just give God all the glory and all the praise and all the honor. Hallelujah. Because this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. You guys be blessed. It's your minister, Queen Asia. This is my ministry, Beauty for Ashes, Kingdom of Heaven, Royal Ministries. You guys have a blessed rest of your weekend. I love you. Be safe. And God will willing. I will see you sooner than later. To all my YouTubers, remember to like, share, subscribe to the page, hit that like button. And to all my Facebook family, I love you so much. Like, share, and leave a comment. YouTube, y'all can leave a comment too. I love you guys. Be blessed. And I will see you soon. God willing. Mwah.